Hey, what's going on? I'm Bone Sickle, and you happen to be looking at Uncharted Lost Legacy for the PlayStation 4. Today is October the 15th, 2017, and I'm so I'm so glad I finally got this game. Um, I mean, I've always considered myself a, a huge Uncharted fan. I fell in love with the first game, and uh, when Uncharted 2 came out i pre-ordered that that was a day one purchase did the same thing with uncharted 3 same thing with uncharted 4 for, for whatever reason when lost legacy came out i just let it slip through the cracks um i didn't jump right on it i kind of waited a while but i'm so glad i finally got into it this game is awesome it's right up there with all the other uncharted's I had a lot of fun playing it this is actually gameplay from about my first hour into the game in my first playthrough Still didn't know what I was doing or where I was going, but um, it's definitely not anything that I would consider spoiler worthy or anything like that. But really did enjoy it. Um, gunplay took me a second to get back into, but uh, once I did, you know, a little bit later in the game, fell in love with that. Really enjoyed that. Solid as it always was. I gotta say, I really really like the ending of this um the story was good the story in all the uncharted is good but even without nathan drake and and his saga is really enjoyable story really good writing really strong characters everything naughty dog is known for you know uh it's great though the uh the ending i honestly think i might have enjoyed the ending to this game maybe more than any of the other ones i mean it's kind of a close call but i really thought the the last chapter in this was very epic i would not say anything to spoil anything but it was a very epic and satisfying ending i really enjoyed you know like what you actually do in the last chapter and the way all that comes together so it was a really satisfying experience so at this point though um, i mean this is what i've been playing pretty much all week and i have definitely um I want to say I've, I've pretty much gone through two entire playthroughs. Of course, I did my first playthrough like normal with just, you know, completely blind and not really worried about trophies or whatever. And then go through a second playthrough trying to do a little bit of cleanup and everything. So still need to play through on crushing. Then there's one trophy where you pretty much have to play like halfway through the game uh, without shooting anyone or whatever. So I'll mess around with that eventually and pop the platinum those are the last two trophies that, that i have at this moment but uh one thing that's cool um i mean all the uncharted games you know have like a ton of treasures for you to collect one thing that's cool in this game is you can unlock an item that lets you uh know when you're near a treasure like it gives you an audio cue through your controller i don't have it yet in this video like i said this is video from i was only like an hour into the game maybe in this video gameplay but um, it's a really cool thing. Yeah, you know, and of course you can turn that off if you're someone who wants to hunt for the treasures without any help whatsoever. But it's cool that there's like an in-game feature to you know let you know like, hey, a treasure is nearby. You know, um, and then that's cool too if you, you if you think maybe a treasure is nearby but you don't get that audio cue, you know, not to waste too much time, you know, running around in a bunch of corners and stuff, trying to see if there's a treasure hidden somewhere. So that was pretty cool. Another random cool tip, um, not tip so much, but just a neat thing that the game does is on the, the home screen, like the menu, that updates. I don't know how many people will actually notice that, but um, like the further you play through the game, the more stuff accumulates on the table and in the background of the main menu screen where you select, you know, whether you want to start another new game or continue your game or go to options or whatever, like that whole um home screen or whatever like constantly updates with stuff that uh your character and other characters have interacted with throughout the story like as you play so that was a really neat little touch i don't you know it's not a big deal um to a lot of people but i thought it was pretty cool uh one thing i would point out uh just to mention i feel like i need to i mean i bought this digital i bought uncharted 4 digital i've played hundreds of games by now on my ps4 um everything Everything that I've bought, I bought digital. I download everything. Um, I've had tons of games that were, you know, 40, 50, 60 gig games. Nothing makes my PS4 sound like a jet engine except for Uncharted. And, and I don't know why that is. I noticed it with Uncharted 4. I boot up Uncharted 4 and my PS4 is 
fans or whatever will just start humming so freaking loudly and I don't know why that is and uh, Lost Legacy does that to some degree also um, so I, I don't know I feel like I need to mention that and you know I don't know who who might come across this and listen to that or, or you know that'll be important or what but anyway also been playing a little bit of Hustle Kings this week on the PlayStation 3 which was uh, free this month in North America for PlayStation Plus subscribers uh, got into that between shot a little bit of pool in that a little bit that's pretty cool it's pretty much the same thing as the free-to-play version of Hustle Kings on the PS4 um, which I, I didn't know I mean I, this is the first time I've played the PS3 version and apparently that free-to-play version they put on PS4 it's like the same thing um, which is okay it's cool but um, yeah anyway that's uh, all the words I have for this video thanks for watching